We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 15's the mic. 15's the mic. I got 15. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner's He's taken down right around the 50. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. Watch your team. Watch your team. Watch your team. Two. Go. And he just gets rid of it. Need to get it inside the 40. Quick pass. And he is drilled at the 34. I really like going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it, because I think they did. It's about mismatches. He's probably bigger and stronger than the guy who's trying to cover him. From the 34-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Right, Charles, right, let's go. He makes his way out to about the 25. That draw to the running back was good for nine yards. That brings up second and one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Red two, blue Set four. <laughs> Brought down around the 12 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12. Watch your team, watch your team. Dog four. X seven. Motion, motion, motion. Reset, reset, reset. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of seven. Seven three. Hey, we go to work. We go to work. Tenth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Here we go. 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 The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. tight end for the score. Yeah, they did a nice job inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The 
They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. That's good for the Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. the junior and they make the stop at the 44 yard line that was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down and off up the middle and he's stuffed it's a great play by the defense but you know, it really makes you wonder was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line they just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all from their own 44-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Makes it out to about the 29. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 31. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Okay, tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Box 22, box 22. Woo! Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. They come out in a five-wide set. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 14. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. And this is the 10th play of the drive. We played one. The Scarlet Knights lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Play fake, looking to run. And down he goes at the eight. Gaining three yards. That'll bring up third and Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. The 12th play of the drive. That makes it first and goal. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. It's second and goal. Ball on the five. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. He's out. And he tackles him hard at the two-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain of three yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it third and goal. goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive. And 
so they punch it in on the ground. Kirk Herbstreit, great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 14-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Nebraska to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He gets to about the 41-yard line, and he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Watch 15, Mike 15. Red two. Blue four. Blue four. And he hits him hard at the 47. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Red two. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Tackle made at the 27. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Complete, he's out of bounds. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Coming. Mike 15. Mike 15. Here we go. go. Zips it left, and he rifles it in there for the touchdown. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. And as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review of the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. So our score, 14-7. He's tackled at the 21. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down right around the 30. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's hit and taken down. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Six-yard line. It's second down. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle around the 33-yard line. And a quick throw. Brought down around the 28-yard line. Let's go. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 28. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. That'll make it third and five. He's got the corner. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. Got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 79-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. We played a half of football. We're deadlocked right now at 14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These two defenses so far, they've been everything they've been advertised to be. They've stopped the run, they've limited the passing game, they apply pressure at the right time. It's going to be hard to find holes to move the ball at all in the second half. Yeah, and sometimes it's really bad offense, and sometimes you can also look at those holes 
and they come open and all of a sudden they close really fast. And, and that's what you're seeing. A lot of guys that are really athletic, really fast. They know where to be. A lot of guys that you'll be seeing playing on Sundays. I mean, it's just a lot of talent to overcome and you got to be in the right position, but then you got to beat those great players that are also in the right position. So I, I expect more of the same, but you know, which team can break through and make a huge play to, to take the other one, you know, off guard a little bit and make that big play. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. He's going to try and scramble. No one open, so he's going to run. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. scrambling and they make the stop at the 42 yard line Gain of three on the play. that makes it third and three they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down go He makes his way to about the 48. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 43. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. First down grab by the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 21-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it second and 10. Man left, man left. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Tenth play of the drive. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Makes the catch and look out, out of bounds, around the 20-yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. It's a fumble. The defense scoops it out. Heading for the corner. The 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. Converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Quick pass, and they finally knock him out at the 48. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48 yard line. Mike 15. Mike 15. Dog. There he goes. He takes it right side for a good game. That'll make it second and four. Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? Go for it! Blue 20! Check, 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 check. Check. And he carries the ball for a nice game. With the run. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 37-yard line. First down. Four down, four down. Right, Josh, right. Let's go. Red two. X. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. forward. They're about four yards away here on third down. This one is batted away. Great job. Never even gave him a chance to make a play, and he just killed the ball as soon as it was thrown. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 24 17, Nebraska. Rutgers gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Nebraska is up by a touchdown. And down he goes at the 24. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming, Mike, Mike. Here go. He's out. Here go. Here's the give. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 24-17, Cornhusker. Hey. 
into the fourth quarter now. And we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming. Mike, Mike. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Full out there, check the outs out there. Nebraska is up a score. Mike 22, he's coming. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Mike 15, guys. Mike 15. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Nice run there. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. That'll make it second so it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Dog four. And he's going to come up with a sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Less than three minutes in the game. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. That'll bring up second and Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 29-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Scarlet Knights taking their first time out of the half. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Tries to get around the corner. The Scarlet Knights use their second timeout. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds them to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. 
It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Scarlet Knights have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him, or do they do something different? Well, I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. Gets it out quickly, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Spikes the ball. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 24. Just over a minute left. Aaron and Atlone. He's taken down right around the 34. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Three down, three down. Right, Josh, right, let's go. Hey, Mike's black five, black five, yellow three. Yellow three. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. That's good for a five yards. That brings him second and five. Easy, easy. Blair. Blair. Green nine. The spike will stop the clock. They'll line it up again on third down. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Call the game of 16 yards. First down. First down. 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Watch 15. Mike 15. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This is the eighth play of this drive. Watch the pass. Hey, watch 28. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. Orange three. Go. He's under pressure, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown.
There's a They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. We have less than a minute to go. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. 24-24 is the score. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He scrambled. That's a great tackle at the 18. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. Now he tries to buy some time, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled, so we're going to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. is on it. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down right around the 20. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackled after decent pickup. That brings him second and goal. Boy, what an ending. And you just can't forget about the effort by their defense to hold on. That let them come out and play relaxed. No pressure on them at all. They stepped up for the victory. The Scarlet Knights, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.